Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. I am at the police academy. Um, our mayor would have been here with us, but he is uh, attending the National League of Cities Conference in Washington, joined by mayors from across the city to talk about violence, specifically this large increase that we're finding is happening in absolutely every city across America. I just greeted 22 new police recruits in the gymnasium upstairs here at our police academy who are on their first day today. So we asked for help. Help is coming. And these 22 new recruits are from all over the country, some from right here in Baltimore, and are part of a crime fighting strategy to add more cops to our streets every day. So we're proud to welcome them here today. And once again, our mayor's in Washington discussing violence and would have loved to be here, but has an obligation there. So over the weekend, the violence we experienced continued to traumatize our communities and unsettle all of us that are working hard to fight this culture of violence. There were nine shooting incidents over the weekend involving seven homicide victims, six non-fatal shooting victims, and then we had 21 robberies of different types across the city. At this time, we do not have any evidence that any of these incidents are related to each other. However, we continue to work with our local, state, and federal partners to continue to do an overview of each incident and looking for any links and any connections. We're currently looking at potential persons of interest in several of these incidents. However, this is very preliminary and detectives are following leads at this very moment. We are working with our community while reviewing public and private video footage in all of these incidents. And in the same time, our officers made 11 notable arrests to include eight handgun arrests and three robbery arrests over the weekend. Additionally, our officers served more than 30 warrants for violent acts to include one homicide warrant, one handgun warrant, three robbery warrants, and 14 assault warrants. These individuals are participants of crimes that have plagued our community, and we will continue to use all available resources at our disposal and work alongside all of our partners to combat this traumatizing rate of violence. To our residents, we cannot ever do this without you. We always need the community to make our city safe. If you have any information that can help our community in bringing to justice those responsible for the violence this weekend or any crime that has occurred in the past, you can call us anonymously at 1-866-7-LOCKUP, or you can even send a text message to the Metro Crime Stoppers website. So I want to thank all of our police officers and detectives and members of the community that they stay, continue, committed to the mission of our agency and to the citizens of Baltimore. Thank you. Commissioner, this time as we'll far take a couple as of Liberty Heights and Gwen Oak Avenue, the shooting and the three homicides, could you shed a little more detail on what police now believe happened? And the person who survived, was he an Uber driver? What was his status? Well, it's, we, we're, we're not ready to say, but there was a survivor. Uh, what we know is that two of the individuals were inside of the vehicle when they were shot. We're still trying to piece together how the other two were connected, even if they were connected in some kind of way and how. Um, so we're not prepared to go into detail, but what we can say is that that vehicle we knew after the shooting, uh, the driver apparently hit the gas and it crashed into a house. Uh, we're working to find camera footage, but we need anyone who may have seen anything or heard anything to call us right away so we can solve this. It, it only happens when we have community cooperation and participation. Are you able to confirm if it, what Uber driver was involved? Not, not at this time. Commissioner, with this level of violence, are you still confident in the crime plan you share with the mayor? Absolutely. This, this is a result of a culture of violence. This is, let's remember now, these are decisions that they made. This has nothing to do with anything we did or failed to do. These are decisions the bad actors are making, and it's a culture of violence based on this great availability of guns and their willingness to carry them illegally and their doggedness and willingness to use them against each other just to solve their simple conflicts. Do you plan to make any changes to your approach? Well, we always we always assess what we're doing and what happened to adjust deployment strategies, but the department 
with all of our local, state, and federal partners are going after those who commit violence. We made a number of arrests for guns. We make arrests all the time for homicides, and it's getting better every day. And we, we stay committed to our vision and our mission and to the strategy that we're deploying. Commissioner, what do you think is driving the violence specifically in Baltimore? You mentioned an uptick around the nation, but what is specifically driving all this violence in our city? Well, it's a, it's a number of things. There's no one thing. It's a culture of violence. Once again, the proliferation of guns, their willingness to use them, to carry them illegally because the decision to pull that trigger is not made when it's pulled. That decision is made when they grab the gun and walk out of their door. And so they think they can get away with illegally carrying guns, but the problem is they use them when they get involved in conflict. And that's what's happening by and large more often than not. It's conflict resolution. And people are then retaliating using the same method of conflict resolution, which is gun violence. And so it's a number of things, but it speaks to all the things we're trying to fix that caused them to make this decision, their education, their poverty, their mental illness, their housing situation, their drug addiction, all of the above at the same time, all of them. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, if anybody